So most people get their dogs when they're about eight weeks of age, and at that time we're going to start uh, the series of vaccines. They're every three weeks until they're four months of age, and then at four months your dog is then able to mount a long-term immune response until they're about a year when we're going to want to boost those vaccines. Extremely important that the vaccines be boosted at the one-year mark. Um, and again, these vaccines are super important for um, protecting your dog against parvo, distemper, rabies, and bordetella and flu are, are another vaccines that we are going to recommend, especially if your dog is being exposed at all um, at groomers, dog parks, and certainly boarding facilities and daycare. So those are vaccines that we consider to be core vaccines for dogs that are exposed to other dogs. And Encinitas is an amazing place for lots of interactive dog play, beaches, dog parks, and things. So we do recommend both the bordetella and the, the flu vaccine for that. Um, there are some concerns that, that dogs have, are vaccinated too much and that vaccines are dangerous. And I will tell you that the, the risk of vaccine is way lower than the risk of not vaccinating them. So we definitely recommend using vaccines. We are, are very judicious with the use of vaccines. We do not over vaccinate dogs. Um, and once the dogs are on, uh, had their boosters at one year, there are a couple of the vaccines we'll recommend just using once every three years. And um, if there are some dogs that have special health concerns, we may you know modify depending on what's going on with that dog. But certainly the series when they're puppies at one year of age, and then um, depending on the vaccine, somewhere every three years after that.